Hi guys, this is Crown Leech and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna suck the life out of this journey. Yes, we are on chapter 3 um, and we need to go collect the, the toolbox from Middle Knot City Ruins. So that's gonna probably be very, very exciting with all the BTs in that area okay I'm just picking up a few things because I tr I'm trying to collect a material to build a road um, yeah and you're gonna need a lot of ceramic and metal and crystal okay so we are moving towards the ruined city or the city ruins uh, yeah it looks pretty spooky there, hey? Alright, let's see what's going on here. Guys, please remember to scan the whole time. Um, you know, you never know if you're going to miss a memory chip. I have realized that or noticed that you do get memory chips um, at facilities most of the time. Um, that's all. I found all of my memory chips at facilities in chapter 2 so right I didn't make a video about that um, the time for this time for here and your VT detector is active and um, usually I walk very slowly or crouch in these areas to avoid the BTs your BT detector will always face towards the BT so you can easily avoid them but I have noticed in this area that um, sometimes you can't see them. You need to stand still and then you can see them. Um, and But sometimes they are kind of hidden. So yeah, just be careful. There is a BT right there. I'm just going to throw a bomb right at it. Because yeah. That's the easiest way, especially if it's right in front of you. Um, it's quite hard to avoid them then. Alright, let's move on. It's quite dark here. Uh, I'm going to pick up some lost cargo over there. And I believe, yeah, you can easily lose your cargo here because of the BTs. Alright. Let's just pick that up. It's always better just to try and avoid them, guys. You know, you're going to get into a whole lot of trouble if you don't. Rather move slowly around them um, and don't run away from them because, you know, you, you have the chances of falling and um, damaging your cargo. Alright, let's just go up the stairs here. There's a BT somewhere here, yeah? but I can't see it like I've mentioned, you know, I just can't see where it is. And it saw me. It's... Uh, I think it saw me. Yep, I need to run. I need to run. I just told you guys not to run, but um... In small confined spaces, I think you should run. And I just got some cargo damage there because I thought it's so dark there. You can hardly see what's going on. I thought I could just go straight or run out, jump over that railing. Okay, now it's gone. I can't seem to find it. <laughs> and it can't find me. Alright, now it found me. Ah, I need to jump, jump, jump. Jump! Alright. It doesn't seem like... I have noticed they don't always follow you when you move over rocks. Um, so, but they do sometimes. It's small glitch, I believe. Alright, so... Just keep your BT detector. You know, just mind it. Check where the BTs are move around the BTs. I need to go into that facility on the left hand side 
to get the toolbox I believe and then yeah there it is I think let's just see there's a BT here as well and I can't seem to see it but it's not attacking me so yeah all right let's just pick that up i'm gonna use the repair spray on my cargo you know because the time full damages your cargo um and well i'm not too sure whether it's you know it obviously repairs the, the boxes if you damage the stuff inside of it it's going to count against you with regards to likes and stuff like that okay let's see the back always scan for memory chip I can already see a memory chip right in front of me on the right hand side so I'm gonna go out and click that um, I've got quite a lot of cargo on my back that's never a good thing because you can fall easily but I have noticed if you just press in R2 and L2 the whole time as you walk um, you won't fall that easily all right there's a beauty somewhere so just stand still and see where more or less it is if it's close or not uh, let's just check around all right there it is we are just gonna throw a bomb at it Boom shakalaka. And there's another one. Goodbye. See you in the next life. All right. I detect on my right hand side BTs as well. Um, and I'm, I am quite close. All right. There they are. We're going to try and throw one bomb and kill both of them. Let's see. Goodbye, my friendos. All right, guys, remember to keep on moving with with the time full and keep in mind that your cargo is getting damaged. Always, always have a spare bottle of repair spray with you. Because believe me, you're going to need it, especially if you're walking through areas with a lot of rainfall. Alright, let's just walk up that ramp. Seems to me the memory chip is on the other side of this wall. Yep. All right, so we're going to take the ramp and move over the wall. Hopefully there's a ramp on the other side. Because obviously if you fall off the wall, you're going to damage your cargo. And we do not want to do that. All right. Yeah, no, my luck. Nothing tastes like Fresca. I don't know if you guys in the USA had a fresca drink um that was i can remember drinking that as a kid and hardly anybody knows what i'm talking about 99 percent of the time all right so uh yep there taking damage those cargo boxes seem empty <laughs> All right, let's go and get that memory stick, guys. If you want to have all the achievements, you know, if you're like me, then you're going to have to scan and try and get all of the memory chips because that's one of the achievements, getting all of them. I did get all of them in Chapter 2. Oh, well, I didn't. At the incinerating facility or whatever. Um, 
it apparently there is one I couldn't find one on the rooftop um, so I guess it's gonna spawn in later in the game I'm not sure I'll just go back there later on and go check it out okay it seems to me we are out of trouble the BTs are behind us and we can just move forward towards the craftsman facility and deliver that toolbox yep we just got the thumbs up okay so I, i'm trying to collect metal and crystals i don't know if, whether i already mentioned that um to build roads or whatever generators you're gonna need a lot of material if you do deliver it at the facilities you can take some of that material with you i just prefer collecting my own you know and just take it wherever because either way you still need to travel wherever you want to build whatever you want to build and uh, and carry it with you so you know i'm not going to travel all the way to one facility to get metal or whatever i need and travel all the way back i'll just collect it as i go along and use it there's a lot of material lying around and you can you know get your stuff to build your own little things you know roads um whatever you need to build um usually i used to repair spray uh, before i go into a facility you know i don't know if it really counts but i you know i like delivering decent stuff decent looking stuff we won't mention how the um, stuff on the inside of the cargo looks like. Alright, let's just run. Yes, this side of chapter 3, this area is you know it doesn't look as nice or as on in chapter two um there were a whole lot more of grass and it seems like you know there's a lot of death here obviously because of the mules probably and the bts um but yeah i'm just gonna call the mules raiders because it just sounds better okay you're gonna do a whole lot of running in this game especially if you want to get five stars at the facilities you're gonna do a whole lot of running vehicles i mean there is a meal camp close by with two trucks i think i saw two two trucks you can go and hijack them um and use it but uh my, chapter two most of the time you can run 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 baby run okay we've delivered that toolbox that guy was very happy about it and impressed here um the mule guys gangsters saw me um i'm trying to hide into the tall grass and hide from them but it's not gonna help they are still detecting me their detectors are red obviously so guys if that happens just fight them grow some balls and fight them um kicking and punching isn't that effective just use your rope that's it and take on one at a time uh, you know you need to make some distance between you and the next guy because they're gonna throw you with electricity harpoons and uh, yeah it seems to be quite painful and you know when they get a get a punch in you can um your cargo might get damaged so yeah just use that rope when the time is right just attack them i can't understand how that electricity doesn't damage them 
but it does damage you. That's so unfair. Okay, guys, so yeah, this seems to be a main camp because I'm fighting the ass. Come on, come on. Let me show you how you're gonna die slowly. Doop. And you're. Well, they're not dead. But uh, they're passed out, basically. I don't, th I don't know if you can kill them, though. Um, but they stay out for a few minutes, quite a few minutes, so you can go to a different facility and return and they'll still be lullabying in the tall grass. Okay, there's a truck, so that makes it a lot easier. I'll just take a lift back to the camp, to their camp, and just steal their metal and ceramic for the road I want to build. Or let's just say rather a section of the road because there seems to be a few sections and every time you need more and more material. So, yeah. How many guys are there? Two? One? One. Alright guys, you're at the, at the meals f um, facility or camp. There is one memory stick. I know this one memory stick. I came through here before and I saw it but I also saw all the raiders or mules and um, I bypassed it. So we're gonna take the truck and we're gonna go to the camp right now. I think I probably just killed everybody or not killed them so to speak but let's just say they are not gonna bother me right now. <clears throat> all right so I'm just gonna put everything on the truck right now and then we're gonna drive towards the camp Alright guys, and please keep in mind, um, when you've got a lot of cargo on your back, you can't drive the truck. It's like real life. You can take a few boxes with you in front, but um, no, you can't get into the truck with 130 kg of cargo on your back. Let's see if we can drive over that guy. Oh, bloody doof. Ah, and it worked, it worked. Oh, guys, don't throw me with that. Yeah, please. Okay, let me just quickly kill you guys. You see, it's quite easy with the rope. Let's make it kinky. Ooh, ropey rope. All right. That was a bad joke. All right. I don't pick this stuff up, guys, because in the beginning of the game, in, in the second chapter, it's you can use it to bolt, you know, the materials or whatever. They might drop ladders and stuff like that. You can use that, but um, yeah. In chapter 3, you can build your own stuff. Later in chapter 2, you can start building your own stuff. But um, chapter 3, you don't really need it. I don't really need that stuff at this stage. I take one or two ladders with me. And that's basically it. Alright, so let's just... Oh, what I just did there, um, they threw one of those electricity harpoons in the truck. And I just removed all of my cargo because I was scared it was going to get damaged. And as soon as I took that out, they um, the, the electricity around the truck stopped. So I just reloaded the cargo on the truck again. Okay, now I'm going to have to go and look for that memory stick. Oh, there it is. There it is. You can get the memory stick there. 
and then I'm gonna get some metal and ceramic and um, yeah go towards road to go and fix that um, yeah please also remember guys um, you can't take you know that's a big truck and you would think you can load a hell of a lot of stuff on there you can't really it's like a few boxes a few cages and then you have to leave everything behind all the extras you'll have to leave behind and um, come back for it or just forget about it so just keep that in mind you can't overload that truck basically you know there's a hell of a lot of space left on it but yeah at this stage chapter three you can load a few stuff on there look at that i just dropped a few stuff because i don't have space anymore and you can't carry the stuff with you while you're driving in the truck okay so let's move towards that road yeah, here in South Africa, we are used to roads looking like this. This ain't a road. But our roads basically looks like off-roads. Off-road roads. There's rocks and potholes and everything in between. So, yeah. I'm driving slow, guys, because your vehicles can break. I'm not sure about the truck. It's the first time... I just got it to hijack the truck, but um, the motorbikes they do break, and then you leave, need to leave them behind, which is not nice at all. Um, so try and avoid damaging the truck, because if you had a like a truck or a motorbike or whatever vehicle you have. Um, and you need to leave it behind you get so used to traveling fast and then you're on foot again it's terrible ask me I did that in chapter 2 had a bike destroyed it and yeah I still had a lot of traveling left and it was terrible walking up and down and up and down and back and forth the whole time it killed me Okay, I'm just going to drop a few stuff at this facility um, and then we're going to move on. All right. So that I was already started building that road. I hope there's some space or a section left for me. It seems like there is. It looks quite cool, guys. The graphics in this game is really cool. I must say, um, it's maybe not for everybody. Yeah, you've got to deliver a hell of a lot, hell of, a lot of cargo. Um, the storyline seems slow, but um, I think as you progress in the game you're gonna you know it's gonna have a great storyline okay i can see two raiders or mules there i'm just gonna try and bypass them well i can drive right over them i mean i really do have a truck so i can just do that but i'll just bypass them spare them their lives today Okay, so I can't build here anymore. We'll move on and see if we can get a section of the road we can still build. All right. Uh, we're gonna have to do a jumpy jump here yeah, with this truck. Let's see, uh, we are stuck and we've got it. How does a truck jump like that? 
Alrighty, let's. We are over it. You can see I'm from South Africa. The roads, oh my gosh. Alright, yippee, we can build here. So let's get out of the truck and see what materials we need. Do 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 do. All right. Uh, why am I stuck on that stairs? All right. Let's see. We need some metal and ceramic. Oh, I hope I've got enough metal and ceramic for this. All right. Let's go and have a look. Country roads, take me home. All right, let's bowl the road. Oh, shit. I don't think I've got enough material. Let's hope for the best. Sam, my man. Let's do this, Sam, my man. Why am I offloading my stuff? Am I drunk? Okay, there you go. Hundred and something kgs on your back. How nice. Yeah, I can see the straw rung is kicking in. Or is that brandy? Sam? Let's build the road. I know I'm overloading the materials, but I really don't give a shit at this moment. In time, I'm really just going to load this stuff. And hope for the best, I still need some metal though. Let's see if we can find some metal around here. Alright, let's look around. No metal. Oh, we got lucky. Yay. All right. Let's go deliver. Oh, 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 yep. We've been drinking a few. Sorry, guys. I've got a, I've got a little bit of a flu going on here. Yeah? I'm trying my utmost best. Oh, let's just deliver that. And we are building the road. We are repairing the USA, America. Hopefully one day somebody will come and repair South Africa as well. Especially the roads. Alright, it's a happy day, happy day. We just made one guy happy, the craftsman. We got a truck and build a road guys that's all for tonight please subscribe i'm not gonna beg you but you guys know it's the right thing to do thank you enjoy and we are off to bed